Well, would you look at that? This was supposed to be a trilogy, but you guys sent me a bunch of songs I didn't know that have more than one guest. I'm so proud. Thank you. Hello again ladies and gents, and welcome to what I thought would be the final video of what I thought was a trilogy called Are these three time signatures together or are you just happy to see me? And this video is yet again based on the guest versus host method based on the guest versus host concept You get the point heavily based on the guest versus host video and if you haven't watched it yet I must say I am very disappointed but you still have a chance to redeem yourself and go watch this video before diving into, well, this video. Today we have What Happens Now by Porcupine Tree. This song has some intense stuff going on, huh? The host in the section that we're breaking down shifts, and not once. Therefore, we're gonna be analyzing this in a slightly different way. So here's what's up. We have three elements, five, seven, and three. And we have this crown. This crown is gonna be given to whoever is the host. By the way, all of these are just different groupings of the same subdivision. We're always in 16 notes. And as I said in some other video, I like referring to groups by their lowest denominator. So if, for example, I have a group of 14 and 16, I'd rather call it 7 and 8. It's just easier to both deal with and count. Let us begin. The first riff we meet is this one, played by the guitar. This riff technically is in 10-16, but as I said before, I'm gonna be calling it 5-8. And it looks like this. As of now, this is the host. I mean, well, of course it is, because it's alone. But not for long. Soon enough, the drums come in, playing everything but 5. The kick and snare groove are in 7. And remember we discussed the hi-hat and ride cymbal being the organizer of the whole groove? The ride plays a pattern in three, which is what makes this groove so disorienting. So 3 over 7 over 5, I, I guess. And who's the host? Well, counting the beats won't help, because the sum total of this section is 35, which means 7 full repeats of 5, or 5 full repeats of 7. But I'll let you know how it feels to me. I'm gonna go with the 5. For me, the 5 is the host simply because we've heard it first. We got enough time to latch onto the 5 beat frame, And once the seven joins, we hear it within the context of that frame. But those drums are slowly pulling me towards the seven. Great, moving forward. A lot of action is going on in the next part. The bass comes in, in support of the seven. A guitar slash keys line comes in, in support of the three. And the guitar playing the five is out. No more five. So who's the host now? 
Let's bring the house back. The seven. If you listen to the bass, it's playing a two chord sequence, a D and an E flat. And each chord takes the span of four bars of seven, eight. The three just circles around them. In the next section, we have a slight change where the three side gets a bit stronger. The guitar riff changes from this to this. The new guitar part, in addition to the existing ride cymbal pattern, makes the three sides very strong, very powerful. But regardless to the effort, the seven stays the host. Nice try, three. Maybe next time. But then next time happens. In the next part, everyone joins the three party. Everyone. Drums and bass ditch the seven, and we go into a purely three section, which sounds more like a six eight but technically it's a 9, don't ask. So obviously, by lack of competition, the 3 is now the host. So basically, we start in 5-8. Soon after, the drums come in with a 7-16 groove that is topped with a 3-16 ride pattern. Soon enough, the bass joins the 7, the 5-8 disappears, and the 7 becomes the host. The 3 is still hanging in there. And in the next sections, the three side gets more and more power, till eventually the whole band ditches the seven and joins the three side, which I would count as six, but as technically a nine. Whew! This makes the three the host, and this makes the section super cool. Here we go. I don't know about you, but I think this qualifies as very cool. This song was released as part of the Nil Recurring EP in 2007. Four songs, all of them are ridiculously good. Thank you for watching.